So hello gamers and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a bunch of credits in Phantom Forces. As you can see, I have 300,000 right now. And I've actually never purchased any with Robux. So I'm going to be talking about how you can get some very, very quickly. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new and comment your video ideas down below. So first off, the daily challenges. Daily challenges are incredibly important, okay? They're so underrated when it comes to getting credits. A lot of people haven't been taking advantage of them just yet. And with daily challenges, you can actually earn up to about 2,000 credits, not per week, per day. You can earn 2,000 credits a day. If that sounds like a lot of credits, yeah, that's a lot of credits. That is a lot of opportunities, but how do you actually get these daily challenges done very quickly? The first tier is either 40 or 50, then it goes up a little bit, then it goes up a little bit more, and you'll always earn the maximum amount for that tier, completing all of them in the tier. So it's like you have four challenges per. So right now I would get 190 credits from my tier one challenges. And what you're gonna wanna do is look at what is the easiest challenges that I have. And for the tier ones, they're probably gonna be pretty easy, unless it's like something crazy you shouldn't be using your resets early on. You should be using your resets for the higher tier ones that are going to get a lot more difficult. Pick up dog tags, just go to the server browser, go find kill confirmed or tag run and you'll get it in no time. 20 hit fire kills is also very easy. Let's say uh, 50 kills with an LMG is too hard. You actually have three daily resets and like I said you don't want to use them but 20 long shots that's also pretty hard. And then 50 kills with an assault rifle. Wow, these are all hard. And it's back to 20 long shots. So as you can see, it can be pretty dangerous to reset and then after that you can pay a small and it keeps going up by 25 every single time. So I do not recommend you reset now. I don't really care because I have a bunch of credits. But now it's at 15 headshots, which would have been a lot easier because basically all I have to do is go to kill confirmed and get hit fire headshots and I can get all of them. You're trying to get these as quickly as possible because if you do all of them, it can take so long to do these because they reset every single day. The next thing that I think a lot of people have forgotten is getting an MVP and winning the match. Now, you actually don't get any credits from winning the match. However, if you won the match and you're the MVP of the match, you actually do get 50 credits every match, which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're doing that every single match, yeah, it's every like, you know, seven to 15 minutes, you're getting 50 credits, which can be very good. That's like getting a challenge every like 10 minutes. And that's very nice for your extra credits. Now, how do you get a lot of MVPs? Basically, you have to get kills and play the objective. It's actually your score in the match that gives you the MVP. So the place on the leaderboard, as you can see, there's people with 2000 points, which on hard point, you can go and sit on the objective. But for this one, it's actually probably not that effective because you get very, very little points from hard point. But what I do recommend is you go play player domination or something like that and go join a match and you should be able to get the top points if you're just playing objective plus getting kills. Remember, you have to be pretty decent to get MVP, but it shouldn't be too hard. Like you don't have to actually be the best player on the server because usually the best player isn't even playing the objective. But guess what? You can get, you know, 400 XP per taking each point. And if you're doing that, plus getting a decent amount of kills, you don't even have to get the most kills. You can get probably like, you know, top 10 on the leaderboard, but you don't have to get number one. But yeah, play objective. And do keep in mind that you can probably join games a little bit late. But the problem is you have to essentially start at a deficit because other people have already started playing beforehand. So unless you're like really, really good, you kind of want to join games that are just starting. So go to the server browser and find like hardpoint, actually anything but hardpoint basically. And, you know, go play the objective. If you play on like a longer range map and you're playing the kill confirmed game mode and you're running a close range gun and just getting all your kills confirmed as well as taking other people's tags, you're probably going to get most XP. Now, don't take people's tags right in front of them a little toxic but you can if they're just like leaving them on the ground as you can see i joined pretty late i'm already number two on the scoreboard you keep in mind though that i am you know getting kills and stuff and i'm not really playing objective because in this mode objective doesn't really matter because it gives you like no points and hard point needs to get xp buff i'm not gonna lie because uh yeah don't don't ever play hard point for xp if you win a match though you actually get a random case or a random key and if you play enough games you're gonna have a bunch like me and i've actually opened a lot of these i used to have way way more but then you can just keep opening these and there that skin right there is probably worth a few hundred bucks but yeah eventually you will get some cases and keys that will lead back into my next thing that I wanted to talk about, which is how do you make any money from these cases? Well, the real answer is that if you're buying anything that isn't a starter case, you kind of aren't. The starter case has the best ROI, which means return on investment because it can give you a very rare customizable and it costs the least by far. The prices of the cases increase dramatically. As you can see, it's about 150 for the entire case and key. And for this one, it's going to be 
a, a lot more 750 you can buy a lot more starter cases and the skins are going to be ending up to about the same price they will be cheaper however it's not like one fifth as much they're actually worth pretty similar amounts here's one from a higher tier case it's 600 and here's one from literally a starter case and it's 480 which is pretty close you know it's not like that close but the fact that it's like seven times as expensive makes a lot of sense that you would kind of just want to buy the tier ones you might be wondering well i have a case but i don't have the key or i have a key and i don't have the case generally speaking it's actually not a good idea to go and buy the case because as you can see right here just the key for this dr which i don't think is a very high tier case costs almost as much as two starter cases yeah as you can see i got tetra blocks for the g40 and as you can see right here this skin is worth 39 credits i just lost you know like 250 which is not very good so what you want to do is only open them if it's a tier one case which means the material case splatter case or any of the starter cases as well as these three however these are more expensive you can buy the case or the key for these ones However, any other ones, you want to wait until you have both. But how do you make sure your team wins? It's actually pretty simple. If you play the objective, your team will probably win. It depends on the objective, because if it's TDM, you probably won't. But let's say it's hardpoint. If you, and especially if you're playing with friends, if you just sit on the hardpoint, I guarantee you, you will win the majority of your games. This is one of the rare ones when the people are actually playing the objective, but most of the time people do not play the objective pretty much at all in this game but these people are actually hardcore sitting the objective usually it's not like this usually if you're playing hard point there's going to be very rarely a person there and if you just sit on the objective you're actually going to get a lot of cases which is pretty nice next thing i wanted to talk about is daily logins as well as roblox premium when you log in every day you get one case or key as well so you can just log in and then claim that and then leave you obviously want to be going for your dailies as well but let's say it's just like a day that you can't really play that much or anything like that you just boot up the game for one second and of course with those cases and keys that's just an easier way to get some of these and then open them the next thing you could do to save your credits is simply just go here and go and find the weapon that you already wanted to purchase because you're saving it for a weapon i'm guessing and if you go into the weapon randomizer or even blueprint you can actually get discounts on the gun so this one here has a canted animu site which is going to increase the price by quite a bit it's a 30 percent discount so let's say you wanted to get the g11 this might be worth it but what you can do is go to the actual weapon in your inventory and click it if it's grayed out and see if the price is higher or lower but sometimes you can get a 99 percent discount which is insane now you can actually refresh this and I think it does refresh the discounts however it does cost credits and this time I got a 40% this one is actually 50% and it only has an oil filter if you didn't know the higher kill requirement the attachment is the more expensive it becomes so you have to be very careful about that this time I actually got a 70% discount now this would be insane however it has a canted furrow site they keep giving you these extremely high kill attachments that completely ruin it but 70% off would still be pretty good another thing you can do though and this is not going to be that effective is you can go in and find weapon skins that have a discount as well do not refresh this and honestly it's not even worth doing but maybe you can get like five credits off of this because sometimes these will also be 99 percent off oh i actually really like that it looks funny wait does that add the logo what what is this did you guys know about this next thing i need to talk about is probably the one you were all thinking would be the most important which is ranking up every time you rank up you get some credits and the higher your rank the more the reward so right now i have a 1300 credit bonus obviously as you get to a higher rank you're going to get more credits but also it's going to take longer to rank up however if you're doing mvp strats you're getting the most amount of xp in the server which means you're getting a lot of xp and if you're getting a lot of xp then you're going to be ranking up quite a bit. So go for the MVP one. And yeah, the score on the scoreboard is how much XP you've gained in that match as well. So if you're number one on the scoreboard, that also means that you were the person that actually got the most XP in that game and actually progressed the most towards ranking up your character, which is very, very good. One thing that you can do to get a lot of credits, I mean, like it could be 250,000, it could be more, it depends. I probably got a about 700,000 from Stylus and I could have kept asking but I didn't really need it anymore and that is becoming a content creator for this game and making videos that doesn't necessarily have to be videos it could be streams it could be something like that if you want to you can go to the Stylus Studios discord and they have the details on how to become a content creator the main thing is that you do need to have a decent following on something so the other thing you can do from Stylus is there's discord server giveaway so just join their discord server and they have a giveaways tab on there and they give away credits and other stuff but mostly credits and of course also you can spend robux to get some and there are sometimes discounts in the robux shop 
for events or not events, but holidays and whatnot. Definitely a way to get credits. I don't think it's necessary. I actually had 50,000 credits in this game without spending any Robux before Stylus Studios actually gave me any credits. So it's very, very easy to get credits even more now. Like if they had daily challenges now, I'd actually have probably double the credits I did before because you can get 2,000 credits a day, but you have to play a lot on a day. But it's pretty cool that there's challenges now. At least 1,000 credits a day. Depends on what you're doing. It depends on how well you're doing it. You could get more, you could get less. Um, but yeah, as long as you're doing this, you should have plenty of credits. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, that's basically how to get a bunch of credits in Phantom Forces. Trying to get to 100,000 subs, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Have a nice day. Die.